There's items that have been buffed so heavily, things like uh, uh, Armlet and, and Deso and like all these. Gale comes out as well. I'm not sure he's getting away from this one. He is very tanky with these three gauntlets and the Hemley Iron Will, though. Got more auto attacks. Well, he's getting kept alive by the Aphotic Shield. Meanwhile, over in the mid lane, Monkey actually goes down to Kits. Uh, here, though, Forsaken Oracle, pretty low. A Sonic Wave will finish him off, but he doesn't have the mana for it anymore. Kits, in fact, he's out of bottle charges. Someone needs to melee this guy down. Kits needs to be a little bit careful. He's completely out of mana now. He's got enough to blink away, and that's it. But double damage on Monkey, he could just chase him. Heard that uh, Flame Guard there. Two points made absolutely useless. Charge come in. Arena comes out, catches nobody, but you do end up going down on Giant. Finished off by that sleight of fist, and DNM forced TP out. Back here, though, and look for an opportunity to turn this. I mean, if they all sit underneath the tower and start whacking away at it, Cap could just uh, drop his ult. The Ember Spirit would need to TP in, though. His TP is off of cooldown. All right, never mind. They just let Crow die. I'm, oh my god. That was a sick slide of fist. It was. Charge mid lane now onto Giant, but the Enchantress, very difficult to kill. Am I just, yeah, it's like, I don't think you got this, guys. She's got herself the fluffy hat, the medallion, 15 wand charges. And meanwhile, they do manage to find Monkey Top in the arena. Uh, he so. wasn't in the trees that time. You find him in arena, it's easy to find a monkey right That's now, which is why he went for the yogurt club first. Man's just got brown boots. Is it gonna Mid lane, there it is. The big arena from the Mars follows it up here with Scourge and we'll build a chomp down, find that quick kill on the cap for Saken Oracle Invis, but underneath the sentry still at the end of the day. Will end up falling. Two quick kills go the way of the cut and now turning their attention towards the mid tower. They did get his, uh, he's kind of just playing his own game. Uh, no, I mean, already you can see the effect that this uh, Naga Siren has against the Wraith King. I mean, this only gets worse as the game goes on. Scourge McDuck was forced to back off there. Fail Horse doesn't want to commit onto him. It's a waste oh, of time. He's got a fight breaking out mid. Nyx Assassin first to go down. Crow trying to hobble himself away. Monkey doing what damage he can with the slide of fist. But again, forced to retreat. Almost manages to pick off Kits there on the tail end of it. But will be able to survive DNM with Blink 4, get the spear setting up a kill potentially, and they get him, they chop him down one more for the cut. Dude, they are just... Creep wave as he went through there. Yeah. So they'll have to tank this uh, tier two tower. So just come down, nice stun, but again, they don't have the damage, and now Nyx Assassin pinned up against the trees. Is protected for the moment by Vendetta. We'll be able to use that to pop the reincarnation there on the Wraith King, but Giant still just finds the kill, and now, finally, Back on the board, Arkosh get themselves their second kill of the game, but instantly punished. Now Pingu trying to run away, will not be able to make it as Monkey finds it. Great Fire Blast will connect, stuns him down, and Kits finds himself another kill. Nyx Assassin trying to chase down DNM, did not be, uh, was not successful with that one. And instead, killing spree for Scourge with Duck. Survive. Alright. Save is there. They can turn this one around on the onto giant. giant. I mean, they're going for the Enchantress again, but I don't know why they don't have the damage. <laughs> just Giant just stands his ground. <laughs> they turn their attention to Forsaken Oracle instead, and he's going to fall. I wonder if he's going to go for the shard eventually, too. And Pro in the bottom lane. He does have Bulldoze, though, so he's not under 12. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you just get three shotted. The managed to find Monkey. The Yule set up into the spear every single time. You're going to find that kill, and now. Going to have the vision here. Jumps in, gets in. the spear. He manages to find the, the real Naga Siren. The question is, can they finish off in time? Scourge from Duck on the backside. The stunts. He gets pushed outside. The arena pill horse will not be able to survive. They take down the Venomancer as well. Two heroes, and finally, they take down the pesky Naga Siren. They get themselves a third. They get the outpost, and things finally falling apart. Well, I don't want to say. Bottom they are just absolutely getting destroyed this game, though. BKB now completed on the Mars as well. So I'm not sure how they deal with them. I mean, Nick's Assassin is like a decent stun, but... Speaking of stuns, yeah. Scourge managed to find Cat Top. And uh, yeah, this Wraith King's a real issue. Uh, AC now completed on his way to the BKB, and he's basically had a free game from the lane stage. 7-0 and 5, he was top net worth at uh, really know how to do it. Uh, 
they do manage to have the shard picked up on the reincarnation, so the Naga Siren who now has the defusal, it's not as uh, troublesome for Scourge to deal with. Back to the fight, looks like oh, going for no. a wrap around. They do manage to find Kits, but the Blink Spear, they manage to catch the real Naga. He's gone! No, no buyback Pale Horse. Either. And there's the aggressive tip. You'll love to see it. Yeah. Only 130 gold short of being able to buy back in the game. That's all they need to do. Jump in, you'll step her up, and that's it. They call it GG. Hey, GG out. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Uh, absolutely dismantled here by the cut. I mean, they look... All right, uh, this game I'm looking forward to. I think our should be in a little bit better. Stain from Ghoul Frenzy and Beast, but now has Phase Boots completed, so a little bit more armor to work with. Spear connects there onto the Disruptor. Giants, oh my god, the crit damage in from level two God's Rebukes, enough to find the first blood. <laughs> too good for my predictions. I'm getting like four kills in the first 10 minutes here. Yeah. <laughs> They're really getting to pick up the pace. Mm. I'm really hoping Monkey uh, pulls some crazy stuff up here. Oh, he's about to go right into the hands of a Shadow Shaman, but he does manage to bottle up the reach. As a chicken? <laughs> Hello. And now he's going to turn on Giant. He is. Giant, he's got no spells left. Monkey grabs the kill. He's got the regen ready to go. He's going to pop that bad boy as Kits gets blocked off by the Shards. Forsaken Oracle here as well. And Monkey, ready and waiting. Glimpse going to pull him right back into the waiting hands of the Storm Spirit. But Kit is the so going. tanky. Yeah, he is. He needs to get this mana. And Kit's doing a decent job of getting as much distance as he can. And Monkey can be able to contribute, but Glimpse not going to be on the mark, so just a zoning uh, kinetic kill there. Tusk in a lot of trouble. There's going to be a torrent to follow Giant with the assist, and the ground that sells the kill here on Necro in no time. Oh no, he didn't target the creeps, went into Kits there. I mean, I think he would have died anyways, but... Oh look, another okay. regen rune. Minutes. Nice. Half mid lane. He's in a little bit of trouble. X pulls him back, pops the uh, pig pole, but not gonna be enough to get him out. They will find the kill, activate that extraism, and turn their attention on over to the mid tier one tower. They drop the wards as well. They have everything here ready to go. Monkey needs to be a little bit careful here. Killers wrapping on in, in from the backside, pops that rage, goes in onto Giant. There's gonna be the boat connects. They manage to stun him up, and Pale Horse, he's gotta get the invest play, does manage to get out thanks to Monkey with the assist, but the tower is still falling here to the Exorcism and the wards. The, the whole goal here is to just take this tower, and they've done it. Forsaken Oracle gonna join them. Monkey, he's bottled back up. He's still got the Life Stealer in there. He's gonna pop out, take that Reincarnation down from this Wraith King. Big Macro Fire kit stunned in place. Wraith King not gonna be able to stand his ground here any longer. This is where the Life Stealer is definitely gonna shine. Monkey comes in back with the Vortex, gets the kill onto two. But he does have it now, so... May not be able to see that. Meanwhile, there it is, the initiation, thanks to uh, Pale Horse and Monkey, but the BKB from Kits will buy him a lot of space. DNM clips right back into the Storm Spirit. He is pretty tanky. Kinetic Field does not actually catch in time, but he runs right into the hands of a Tusk, and they will find themselves the first kill of this fight. Pingu trying to tank this one up. Three Spirit Siphons. Is it going to be enough? For the moment, it is. Ice Path can be able to stop the shackles there. Monkey. No mana left, pops the soul ring, gets the kill anyway, and somehow Pingu manages to survive through it all, gets glimpsed though from Forsaken Oracle. There is going to be an Orchid in from Monkey, and now Pingu will finally go down. Wrap around the back and throw a macro fire into the pit Smoked from up. behind. DNM trying to find a hero here, blinks and gets the arena perfectly placed, ice path there, but they get the roach on Hill Horse, will just be BKB TPing home. They'll be able to grab themselves or kill there onto the Mars. For second Oracle, the Glimpse gonna send Scourge back. Cap trying to run away. Big ice path, but still trapped here in the claws of the Shadow Shaman. Be able to find a one for one trade. Crow with the D Ward. For second but... Oracle pops his smoke to get a little bit more movement speed, but I'm not sure it's gonna matter. Pingu. He's yeah, gone. Finishes yeah. him. <laughs> in the mid lane. DNM's gonna reveal himself. Monkey pops his arcane, goes in. Who's he gonna find? The infest up the high ground. They end up finding DNM, but the spear connects right away onto the storm spirit. Can he actually get out of here? He pops his BKB with 80 HP. He will survive. And Pale Horse trying to find someone to go back in on. Monkey baiting a little bit of spells here. He is out he's of go mana. For him, DNM. He's gonna try to catch him. Got vision can. of him? No, he's oh, gone. He lost vision. Oh, beautiful shard block there from the Tusk. Yeah, it is ruined. Uh, you were close to the blink tag before you went down, just like, and spent all your money on buyback as well. 
Now he's gonna go down oh. again. Already ends up finding the hex. He does. The question is, can he get saved? He's trying. And beautiful snowball from Crow will buy him a little bit of space, but he's still silenced up. Still goes down. Crow doing what he can to keep his boys in this one, but Pale Horse all alone does not have the damage to find this, and Crow gonna pay for that one. Sword Spirit maybe a little bit too. Uh... If heroes in there and Tusk uh, using tag team, then it becomes pretty quick. So they're gonna sit up around the pit now. Dropping Macro Pyre on the creep wave to try to keep it shoved in. DNM finds Forsaken Oracle there, and another kill goes his way on the Mars. Do you know in uh, Dota 1, there were certain boss heroes oh, you had to fight in the round? Cap positioned really well on the high ground, but he was not looking at that. Nice spear, 10x onto the disruptor. Beautiful save though for the moment, thanks to the snowball. Still ends up falling. Cap, not really many spells left in his pay, uh, tank here, but. Try and buy it back into this one. Monkey chasing after Pingu, trying to keep himself alive here with these spirit siphons. And able to buy himself a lot of time. Pale Horse is gotta be the one that just survives through this all. Monkey pops his BKB, forced to try and run away now as Scourge McDuck now in some trouble. Pale Horse, he's got the damage. I mean, we talked about how good this Lifestealer pick is into all of these strength cores. Monkey. Gonna get chased down, will end up falling the Scourge McDuck with his BKB. Disarm for the moment, trying to TP out, but he sees Crow. He's got his eyes set on him. Caps, gotta get the ice path, doesn't connect in time thanks to the BKB, and he will be out. Looking for more snowball, buying some space, but they don't have detection kits. For a moment, Shards will hold him in place. Walrus Punch comes through. They're gonna be able to take down the Kunkka. Beautifully done. Buybacks immediately into this game. Big Arena holding two in place. Great silence. silence. Giants in here as well. The support collapsed here onto two. Beautifully done. Yeah, horse on top of DNM. Hits, going for the wraparound, obviously still has BKB, just turns his attention on the Forsaken Oracle, gets the nice drop on that uh, Static Storm, but BKB comes out right away from DNM. Arena Spear connects beautifully onto Cap, he's trying to get the Infest, but it's gonna be a Snowball that ends up buying him the time. Here comes Monkey, he's trying to find some of these heroes, but Giant coming in on the back side, he's looking for his heroes, gets a Shackle, he gets the Storm Spirit, perfectly done, Pillars gets the kill onto the Red King, forcing that reincarnation, Aegis, be able to bring uh, kids back into this one. Infest into Monkey. Cap ends up going down anyway. Forsaken Oracle. Mm -hmm. Oh, not so lucky. Let's nice find there from Giant. Zip on in from Monkey with the BKB. Trying to find himself at least one kill before leaving. We'll pop him with the Soul Burn, but he is out of mana completely. There is going to be a... Uh, easy pick off there Ow. for Scourge. That's that, a... You're gonna know that Storm Spirit has buyback. Oh no, Life Stealer! Gets caught for the moment, signs up, but a beautiful snowball once again from Crow to buy his team a little bit of space and Pillars goes in. He gets the break onto the Mars, he forces the BKB, trying to just chase him down. Beautiful shard block as well, and DNF, he is dead. Infest, not entirely sure why. But Pingu, gets in trouble, the buyback from Monkey getting put to good use here as Pingu debating on popping that exorcism, but I think he knows there's no escaping this one. Uh, it was a yeah. joke because it's not like Omni Slash, right? Yeah, yeah. Goes in, big Vortex onto two, they take down the Shaman right away, Static Storm comes through as well, DNM trying to find himself away, gets Spear out onto Crow, they find themselves their first kill. He's gonna go down on the Disruptor as well, chase down on the backside, Scourge trying to just chase down Monkey here, might find him, but oh no, Pale Horse found by the buyback of Giant, and he is alone and dead without buyback. Dieback goes through onto, uh, the Tusk as well, Monkey, one of the only survivors, and uh, yeah, you know. Feel to come back up, that is it. Uh, there's, Monkey just doesn't have the damage to do this alone either. Like, he just does not have the tools. Nice little, uh, nice attempt there from him. Lotus Orb save might be enough to buy him some space, and it is. Back to base he goes, 50 HP, but it's gonna cost Cap his life. Big Vortex though, onto three. Monkey does do a lot of damage to level 25 talent, but they've got so much control, and they find the kill. And, and that is going is. to be it. The GG the comes through. Is going to be the first team to qualify for the main event here with the BTS Pro Series then and Arkosh. Despite the amazing start against Simply Two Base, they're going to be a lot knocking the lower.